Hi, welcome to Sab School Daily, where we have been studying from this lesson right here, God's mission, my mission. This week we've studied from lesson number 11, which has the title, Mission to the Unreached, Part 2. And today is Final Thought Friday, where we sum up this week's lesson, look at the quotes that the lesson provides for us today, and prepare for the week to come. Today's lesson mentions two quotes that I want to read to you, and then talk a little bit about what they're saying. The first quote comes from The Desire of Ages, page 33, that says this, Among those whom the Jews styled heathen, were men who had a better understanding of the scripture prophecies concerning the Messiah than had the teachers in Israel. There were some who hoped for his coming as a deliverer from sin. Philosophers endeavored to study into the mystery of the Hebrew economy, but the bigotry of the Jews hindered the spread of the light. There are so many people that I've encountered throughout my life that I would never expect to know anything about the Bible, and it ended up that they knew more than me. What that tells me is that I have to be extremely humble when dealing with people because we never know their background. We never know where they're coming from. Here in this quote, we see that there were many Gentiles that knew even more about the prophecies than the Jews themselves, but the racism, the prejudice, and the bigotry would, as the quote said, hinder the spread of light. I pray to the Lord that I never hinder the spread of light to anyone. I want to be used as a light, not as a hindrance to the light. I hope that that's one of your prayers as well. The second quote comes from the Advent Review and Sabbath Herald of January 17, 1893. And this is what it says. The Lord Jesus, the mighty Savior, has died for these souls. He can arouse them from their indifference. He can awaken their sympathies. He can soften their hearts. He can reveal to their souls the beauty and power of the truth. The master worker is God and not finite man. And yet he calls upon men to be the agents through whom he can impart light to those in darkness. God has jewels in all the churches, and it is not for us to make sweeping denunciation of the professed religious world, but in humility and love, present to all the truth as it is in Jesus. Let men see piety and devotion. Let them behold Christ likeness of character, and they will be drawn to the truth. They are to lift up Jesus, the world's redeemer. They are to hold forth the word of life. What this tells me is that much more than the words that we say, much more than our professed teachings, it is our example. It's God in us and the example that that will give to those around us that will truly draw people to Jesus through us. So look, much more than what you have to say, much more than your doctrines, much more than your professed beliefs and your deeply rooted convictions, it will be your application of those things in your everyday life that will bring people to Jesus through you. I'm not saying that you shouldn't preach. I'm not saying that you shouldn't teach. I'm not saying that you shouldn't stand up for the truth. Of course you should. But remember what we talked about earlier this week, the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. Say the right thing, but say it in the right way. I hope that makes sense. Please look at the questions that are given here as the discussion questions. There are three of them. I'm not going to read them for you. I want you to study them on your own time and bring them to your Sabbath school study group tomorrow at church. And I'm sure that that will make a very lively conversation. There's a lot to go over and there's a lot to grow with together. I hope that you grew with the study of this week's lesson. I truly know that I did. We're approaching the end of our quarter, but there are still a lot of important things to learn throughout the next week's lesson. So tune in. Please comment down below with any questions or any comments. I'd love to interact with you. And also please remember to like, to share, and to subscribe to our videos. We release one every day. And I hope to see you again here tomorrow for another Sabbath School Daily.